So, you want to learn belly dance, that's great. Here's some ideas to get you started. In this video, we're gonna start with finding yourself a teacher. Hi, I'm Kashmir, and I've been involved in this wonderful dance form for 17 years or thereabouts. I started with an advantage, eight years of jazz and modern. And I started with a disadvantage. Eight years of jazz and modern. Because this is not just about what you need to learn, but what you need to unlearn. The easiest way to learn belly dance is with a teacher. And in fact, for most beginners, it's practically impossible without a physical teacher standing there and helping you. And you might think, why? I have the internet. I have these great um, teaching DVDs. They certainly have their place, but generally speaking, they are best for people who already have a beyond beginner understanding. So we're saying about two years. You need to get the basics in there, and that is very hard to get without a physical teacher. And here's why. First of all, body awareness. So do you know exactly what your body is doing? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you think you do. I have stood next to a student and said to her, I'm sorry, um, that's the wrong hip movement. I would like this hip movement and show her. And she said, but I'm doing that. No, no, no. We both stand in front of the mirror. I said, watch my hips, watch your hips. See how they're different. No, we're both doing the same thing. So... In that situation, it's hard enough. Imagine what it is if you were just looking at a video and thinking, oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that, yeah that, that looks fine to me. Also, you don't know what you're missing. What is the important bits and what bits is extraneous? So some things may be a part of a dancer's personal repertoire. A fifi with her hands. Um, I would never teach a student to use hands like that. But many other parts of a dance are good. You also might be looking at the hips and not realising the top half of your body is wiggling all over the place. Unless somebody actually tells you that, you won't realise that's important. Which brings us on to the next thing. You don't know what you don't know. So you might think, oh yes, uh, I've seen that video and she moves her hips like this, I'll learn to move my hips like this, and she does this and I'll learn to do that. But it's all the things you don't know you need to know. You know do you know what, what Saidi music is? What a Saidi style is? Uh, do you know how to do layering? Do you know how to do transitions? Do you know how to come up with combinations? Do you know how to listen to music? Do you know how to dance to music? What parts of the music should be using? If you don't know these questions to ask, you're not going to learn them. So, we're going to start by getting you a teacher. Now, if you're really lucky, where you live, there will be a choice of teachers. I'm sorry if where you live, there isn't. But let's assume you have a choice of teachers. As a beginner, the style is not that important. It doesn't really matter if the teacher's teaching American style or Turkish or Egyptian or even tribal. The underlying movements are going to be the same. So learn the underlying movements and then you can specialise. Or you can do multiple. I've had a student who was actually doing uh, tribal, folk and oriental with three different teachers. Perfectly okay. So, you've got your list of teachers and it's very tempting to go who's the closest and who's the cheapest. However, if you pick the wrong teacher, two things might happen. The saddest thing is you might get totally turned off belly dance when you might have really enjoyed it with the right teacher. So that's number one. Number two, you might enjoy your teacher, but she might be teaching you things, shall we say, that you need to unlearn later. So you want to try and get the best teacher who's also the best fit for you. How do you do it? Most teachers these days have got websites, and a website is a really good use, place to start. Look for the teacher's background. What? Well, she dances beautifully. Yeah, yeah, that's not the point. What is she actually doing? Is she actually doing belly dance? Because there are a few people out there who use the label who certainly aren't belly dancing. So what is her background? 
Some people will actually show it on the website, like me. Um, some people think that's a little bit mmm and rather not. But if you ask her, she should tell you. If she tells you that she was a belly dancer in a previous life, or that it's in the blood, or anyone can belly dance, I would steer away from that teacher. If she's a little bit coy, mmm. A belly dancer doesn't spring fully formed from the head of Zeus. It requires study. Even people born in the Middle East don't suddenly become wonderful belly dancers. If you look at the, at the big names, yes, some of them have started dancing professionally as teenagers, having danced for 10 years before that, and then they still trained. Okay, so the training is important. So find out what her training is. Find out, or him, find out what his or her uh, current training is. So belly dance isn't something that you do for five years and then you know everything and you walk off. You should be continually doing the training. So you should be seeing evidence that she's going to uh, workshops or conferences, possibly as a teacher, but also as a student. Okay, so you need to keep learning. Now the most important thing. Can they teach. Some of the best dancers are natural dancers and unfortunately that means they can't teach. Well they have great difficulty in teaching unless you are just like them. And in a class you're going to have people of all sorts. So maybe not the beautiful elegant restaurant dancer. She may not be the best person for you especially as a beginner. Once you've got um, a solid background, she might be the person to actually teach you how to get into performance and, and how to wow a crowd. But your basic things you need a person who can teach. You can look to see if they've got any qualifications. Some people have, some people haven't. Some people do by apprenticeship. Be aware there's also um, certifications. Certifications don't necessarily mean they've been taught to teach. What they've been taught is a particular style, a, a franchise if you will. Um, so the ability to teach isn't always tested. So a good teacher should be able to, re to reach all the students in the class and the class shouldn't be too big. I'm horrified to say when I started teaching I sometimes had 30 people in the class. I now limit it to 10. Realistically you can't watch more than 10 people at once and it needs to be safe. It needs to be emotionally safe and it needs to be physically safe. So um, you should actually start with like some sort of mild warm-up. For most belly dance, especially at beginner level, it doesn't need to be anything really fancy. It shouldn't, however, be stretch stretches. No class should start with a stretch unless she's told you, or he's told you, to start yourself with your own CB warm-up. The other thing to watch is a class that is actually billed as a belly dance class, but actually starts with 30 minutes of yoga. Yoga is not belly dance. If it says yoga and belly dance, that's perfectly okay. But if you're paying for a belly dance class, you should be being taught belly dance. So your teacher should show some evidence of planning in her class. There should be some sort of logical progression of what you learn. If she's allowing drop-ins, however, you may find that you've gone into a class and everyone else has learned something. An adaptable teacher should be able to give you something simple to work towards what they are doing. So you might be just working on how to do a hip rock and your class might be shimmying and there might be an advanced student doing a shimmy walk. Um, so that sort of thing. And there should be some sort of logical progression. You shouldn't turn up and just it's the same thing every week or she asks people what they want to do. There should be some evidence of planning. Now what you might need to do is actually go around and check out several teachers. If your teacher gets a little bit edgy about this, that's a red flag. You have the right to take a belly dance class from any teacher that you want. And it's actually a good idea to shop around and make sure you find a teacher who is good, who can teach, and suits you. So um, there may be something about a teacher that really clicks. She may not be the best teacher, but you might work well together. That might be the teacher for you. Or you might decide to take the really technical teacher who you really don't get on with but she's really good for your technique and also go to the teacher that you enjoy for for other bits of it okay so you've got your teacher in my next video 
we'll carry on from there and see what else you have to do once you've got that teacher.